Welcome to today's presentation. In today's presentation, we are going to look at similarity and the question we have here reads, a small cone of height 8 centimeters is cut off from a bigger cone to leave a frustrum of height 16 centimeters. If the volume of the smaller cone is 160 cubic centimeters, find the volume of the frustrum. So, First, we can have the information sketched in this diagram. So we have a bigger cone and then a smaller cone is cut off. So this upper part is cut off and then the lower part is now the first one. That is what we are left with. So we are told that the height of the small Con is 8 centimeters. So from there up to right there, this height is 8 centimeters. And we also told that the height of the first term is 16 centimeters. That is from this point to the bottom down there, the height is 16 centimeters. Remember, we are required to find the volume of the first term. And the volume of the first term we obtain by simply having the volume of the bigger cone minus the volume of the smaller cone which was cut off. So first we are told that the volume of the smaller cone is 160 cubic centimeters here and we do not know the volume of the bigger cone. So we are going to apply similarity here and we have the height of the smaller cone and the height of the bigger cone we can get by adding 8 to 16. So that gives us the linear scale factor. So the linear scale factor here is height of the smaller cone 8 over height of the bigger cone that is 8 plus 16 and that is 24. So with this we can simplify it further by having 1 over 3. So with the linear scale factor we'll be able to get the volume scale factor. So volume scale factor will help us in determining the volume rather in determining the volume of the bigger cone. So volume scale factor is obtained by cubing the linear scale factor. And that is simply 1 over 27. So with the volume scale factor, we can therefore say volume scale factor, which is 1 over 27, is equal to Remember here we have 1 over 27, 1 is smaller than 27, so we have smaller over bigger. So the smaller here we can let it to be the volume of the smaller cone, which we already given as 160 right here. Volume of the smaller cone is 160. And then the volume of the bigger cone, which we do not know, we'll simply have it as x. So that when you cross multiply, we'll have x as 160 times 27. So 160 times 27 from my calculator I get 4320 cubic centimeters. So that is the volume of the bigger cone. But remember in the question we are required to get the volume of the first term. So volume of the first term is simply obtained by simply having volume of the bigger cone minus volume of the smaller cone. Fortunately, we now know the volume of the bigger cone, which is 4,320. And then we have to subtract the volume of the small cone, which we are given here, once again. So minus 160. So finally, the volume of the first term is 4,000. 160 cubic centimeters. And finally, we have come to the end of the solution to this problem. I want to thank you for staying with me up to this time. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.